Hi everyone, this is Needle Ninja. Welcome to my channel and welcome to another Stitch With Me video on this project. As you can see, the last my last upload was I was stitching this beautiful blue black butterfly. But as you can see, I have already five of them. Actually six, but this one is in the shadow and the seventh one is showing, start to showing. So I'm really pleased how it's looking. And without a further ado, let's have some stitchy time, fun stitchy time together. So this time I'm stitching on a page number 10 and I am in a fifth row, which I'm stitching from left to right. And this project I'm stitching on a 25 count DMC fabric with the two strands. I'm doing only the half stitches, two over one, using the DMC floss and using the parking method, which I call snake method, which means that I'm doing. 20 stitches in a row, row by row, and I'm going in this kind of snake pattern. And I'm stitching with my pattern keeper. I used to do a paper chart, but not anymore. And I'm kind of making a really great progress, I think, with a pattern keeper. And actually, today I wanted to talk about, well, yesterday I made 1,400 something stitches. It's like, it was like wow for me. I never care about, cared about how many stitches I'm doing, but because this is a big um, holiday in Japan, it calls Golden Week and usually every holiday I'm very busy. Every every holiday there is I'm I have the just very very I have a lot of work. But because of the corona I'm enjoying my holiday already second time well second year in a row in a home with my family with my boys and i'm really having fun so basically i'm just stitching so this time yesterday i stitched those 400 stitches it's actually not my personal best but because i remember when I was using uh, cross-country stitching on my fire opal curl in one day I could make like uh, 16, 1600 stitches so it was like in that in that time I didn't thought it it was much but well now when I remember that it was like wow so but anyway, yesterday, 400, 1400, it's like, I think it's pretty, pretty well, right? So, yes, well, let me tell you about what kind of, what, what does actually Golden Week, what this holiday means. Well, don't worry, I, the things I will tell you. <laughs> I should know, but well, because we are not a traditional Japanese family, I needed to go Google it out, so I'm clever already. <laughs> so let me tell you, and let me highlight this, because I'm talking too much. Okay, it's done. So, well, Golden Week in Japan means that it's actually a collection of uh, four national holidays 
and they have uh, weekends the Sunday and Saturday between them so it's like one of the biggest holidays in uh, in Japan and let me tell you what kind of holidays they are celebrating so it's on uh, April 29th <laughs> there you have a uh, uh, Showa Showa day Showa it's it was a uh, emperor and uh, actually the April 29th it's his birthday it was his birthday so yeah the emperor's birthday Showa emperor's birthday was on April 29th then well, this year, then there was a Saturday and Sunday, right? And then on uh, May 3rd, they have a Constitution Day. And on this day in uh, 1947, actually the new uh, post-war Constitution was put in effect. So that's the Constitution Day. The next day is uh, on May 4th, they have a greenery day and it actually calls Midori no Hi, which means they are celebrating, uh, actually they are celebrating the, uh, this day is dedicated to environment or nature and because this, as I told you, the Showa Emperor, he really loves the, lo loved uh, plants and nature so yeah they are celebrating this day as a midori no hi as a greenery day and then the last one it will be tomorrow it's a children's day so it's on may 5th but what is interesting it's actually this day they call it children's day they call it kodomo no hi but it's not actually Children's Day as is in Europe, Europe, or I don't know. I, I don't know how, how you have it in the uh, US. But this day is only the boys festival. This day is specially for the boys only. Well, girls, they have their day on uh, March 3rd. So on May 5th. They're celebrating the boys' day, and actually, uh, the families pray, prays for a health and success life in the future for they for their boys. By and let me let me check this because I didn't know this word. Word, yeah, they hanging up a carp streamers. I didn't know it's called streamers. Well, it calls koinobori in Japan and those are like big um, carbs made from fabric and they are hang all on the tall poles i will try to put some picture in here so you have an idea and so you can tell that every house that has the carp streamers well, there is a boy living in there, so it's kind of fun to look at it. Well, they don't do it. They used to do it a long time ago um, in every house. But even I have two boys. Well, one is already out of the house. We don't do that because, well, as I told you, not a traditional Japanese family. But well, my, when my husband, when he was small, he had those carp streamers and also they put some uh, like uh, samurai dolls in their house so yeah and they're having some delicious dinner and for the girls on march 3rd well they um, also like put the um, like display the girl dolls in their house so 
with, with together with the uh, not cherry blossom what 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 is that uh, it's a peach blossom yeah in that that time they're displaying the peach blossom so well that's about how they celebrate the children's day here in japan and this was one color only so i hope i didn't do a mistake because talking too much so how did you like was it some something interesting something new something you didn't know well for me it was interesting because this holiday is really busy holiday for me every year so i never cared no i know there was a kodomo no hi uh, children's day but other than that didn't have a clue so today what i found out it was kind of interesting so this is like uh, one of the three biggest holidays in uh, uh, in japan they have one more in um, um, August when they it's something like I don't know what what you have oh no well yeah it's something like a Halloween but it's not party Halloween it's kind of silent um, s not the, you know I don't know how to say that um, and I don't know if I'm right I'm right okay they are like um, going on uh, in a going to how do you say cemeteries to they put the flowers to their lost friends or families so that's they have that kind of one week um, holiday like they have now in may and then there is one more when they celebrate the new year so that's i think those are the the biggest mm, holidays in japan <laughs> and as i told you this is the second year in a row when i'm actually celebrating with them their holidays and because we cannot go anywhere so we're staying home and that's why I could stitch 1400 stitches in one day it was really fun today I'm on what oh I will hit the 600 mark so yeah also progressive day today and today I was actually cleaning my room and cleaning my not cleaning reorganizing my crafts and I realized that I <laughs> I have everything there is I have everything and I think I tried all the crafts you can um, you can try in Japan and well <laughs> <laughs> I think I need another house for st storaging my things. I have like so many beads and well, I, I used to uh, make, um, I used to, I used the Delica beads they are originated in Japan and I used to make some bracelets and well pendants and all the lovely I don't know whatever I can find on Pinterest or and I was kind of like doing it and giving it giving it to every everybody and that was really like kind of big part of my life so in that time i really wasn't stitching um, much but so yeah a lot of beads and what else 
else there's a lot of everything ribbons gosh like okay there's bark thread so So yeah, reorganized, cleaned. I bought myself a new, how do you say Tana? What is it, Tana? Oh, like, a, my, well, not the dresser, but some, uh, oh, oh, come on. I don't know how to say that. The things like, you you know, you pull, pull out from the dresser. What is it? Okay, I don't know how to say that. So, I have like, not shells, sh no. shelf, shelf. Oh, but anyway. And I realized I don't have enough of them, so tomorrow I need to go to buy some, some more of them. Because I have a lot of, not the cross stitch fabric, but the fabric, like, I used to make uh, bags or por not porches, what is it? Pouch? Oh, my English. <laughs> so. And my husband just came back with our dinner and he's screaming. But I told him, told him that I will record, so. He has to wait a little bit more. Or maybe he will just come and knock on my door. Oh, looks like fast stitching, not this one. But anyway, guys, I still cannot upload longer videos, so this is going to end soon anyway. So I hope you liked the... Uh, Mm, golden week explanation the Japanese holidays explanation maybe you learned something new I definitely did so yeah I've been stitching on this project for like mm, three days in a row I really had a fun but I'm looking forward today I will change and I will work a little bit on my fire opal grow because I would like to see if there is a difference between stitching uh, dark colors uh, not with the DMC but with the uh, uh, Cosmo So I will try to compare because now the uh, DMC black thread is doesn't give me enough coverage with the two strands. So I'm using the three three strands, and I would like to try if it will make a difference with the Cosmo thread and if it does I'm definitely going to show you that so okay everyone thanks for watching hope you have a beautiful day what is it today is Tuesday or what is it yeah Tuesday so still weekend is far away i'm still tomorrow and next day i'm still enjoying my holiday uh, i'm sure most of you are working busy so try to find a little fun or little time for your stitching and i want to three four five six one two three four five six that's it and I have thread here, so I'm definitely making, I did I definitely made a mistake 
and I think that this thread should be parked above, right? Yeah, that's the... Okay, so I'm finishing this video with my little mistake. But, well, you know me, always making the mistakes. So, mark it. And thanks for watching, guys. Have a nice day and happy stitching. Bye.